So I told me Magnus Carlsen was gonna lose this game. I will punch you in the face and tell you to shut up because how could Magnus have lost this interesting position? Probably he has been watching a lot of tunes because do you literally want to give up your position as the world number one? Why would you make now, guys? Let's head into the game. The game between Nojibeg, Abdul Statrov, and Magnus Carlsen, the world number one. Now, the game starts with e4, d5, and Magnus captures immediately. No time to waste, no time to check time. Now, guys, let's just head into the brilliant middle game. The opening just continues, and there was literally nothing much here, but now Magnus starts his tactics. He used the knight, you know, to threaten the queen. The queen moves back, and now he continued to develop his pieces. He continued to develop his pieces slowly, 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 slowly. And now, from here, the game literally begins. Magnus brings out his bishop to literally attack the pawn. And now, a statue of seeing this, literally knows that, yeah, that bishop is going to be a very big threat. Now, tries to pursue the bishop, and the bishop comes down. Very good. Look at all Magnus pieces. His knights are literally developed. The bishop are literally developed. The rooks are just literally hanging in the corner waiting for some girls to pick up, you know? That's what they do. And now, the attack literally begins. Status threatens Magnus knight. Magnus moves. Why couldn't Magnus have moved to the other square? Probably, I don't know. I'm not a grand master, so don't ask me. And now, Magnus... Start off which I threatens the bishop knowing that the dark square bishop is gonna be a very big problem Well, Magnus ignores that and which I guards the bishop with the knight Knowing that once start captures it, it captures back with the knight having a very big tempo on also the bishop The bishop has no choice than to move back and then Magnus continues the attack Just watch The queen comes here, Magnus tries to you know open up the flanks <coughs> Statue Magnus knows that Abdul Structure is gonna bring the knight down, so we try to bring the screen back to which I protect that square. And the game just continues, and Magnus brings his knight here. You know, now the game continues. Magnus pushes his pawn, I mean, Statue of putting his pawn to threaten the pushes his pawn, you know, to which I threaten and which I gain a temple. And Magnus brings his bishop back, knowing that. Once the queen is gone, that bishop is gonna be left hanging like a hanger, you know. And now they double up, forming a battery, trying to win that Magnus pawn. But literally, the knight and there are a lot of pieces guarding that pawn. Why are you stressing on just one pawn? Well, it's chess. One pawn could try to make a difference in the entire board. And the game continues. Magnus threatens the queen. The bishop which I have captured, the cap Magnus captured back with the knight. Now, look at how many people are defending the pawn. He threatened the queen and now captured that with the rook. The rook now has opportunity to guard the pawn and also threaten the knight. Magnus captures, I mean, Statue of captures, sorry. And Magnus captures, Magnus did not capture. He will try to pursue the knight. He pursued the knight. The knight had to go back. Now he captured. Now he literally captured. Now, looking at this, the queen has to literally move back because she doesn't want to get eaten by Magnus Rook. And now, Magnus did not capture the rook. He literally pushes the pawn forward. Saying, you capture my pawn, I capture your two rooks, and also have the temple. He literally, okay, no, he's not a mate. The knight could try guard. So, Statue did not capture, but instead captured the rook, and the game kept on going. This middle game is literally interesting. Now, for me, Statue of which I gave a fork on Magnus Queen and the rook. Just look, Magnus Queen, which I moved back, and Statue of which I have captured the rook. But why? Because Magnus which I threatened it, Statue of rook. Now, this game got interesting. Magnus removed his rook from the danger zone. <laughs> Literally, at this moment, just let's go back. At this moment, sorry. At this moment, Statue of War will be like, oh wow, I just fucked Magnus. I'm literally gonna capture either his queen or his rook. But just within seconds, the game changed. Mag Magnus literally just converted the whole 
fourth position to his advantage. Now the game continues. Yeah, Eritrea won the spawn back, and now this knight is literally pinned. The knight is pinned. Now Statue of Eritrea protects the knight with a coin, and Magnus double up like makes the pawn structure very strong because of he doesn't want any any excuses from there. And now Statue of Eritrea opens up the flank in order to bring the skin to safety and the game just kept on going 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 and now from here from here magnus played this saying if the queen captures captures it will try capture with the bishop and there will be a very good temple at that fight but statues did not capture the queen statues played something else he literally moved this queen here he moved the screen here. Magnus saw this as a very brilliant advantage and took over it and gave the king a check. The king had no choice as to move and Magnus captured. Now, Magnus is a pawn up. Just look. Now, the queen comes here. Magnus now has this brilliant idea because he pushes the pawn here. Any moment for now, any mistake Statue makes is going to be a mate in one. Any mistake. Statue of mates is gonna be a mating one. So Statue of being a grandmaster did not make a mistake. Which I push the pawn off. But now Magnus has the chance to which I win a queen. Let's look at this. From this move here, from this move here, Mag Magnus has the chance to which I win a queen. If Magnus had played rook to c4, if Magnus had played his rook to c4. The queen has no option that move back to g7. Statue of Moses is going back to g7. Now Magnus give the king a check. The queen, the king, the queen can't capture because once she captures, let's say once the queen captures, then is a mate one because queen h8 will be a checkmate. So the queen can't capture. Let's just go back. The king, the queen cap can't capture. So the king has to you know capture and then look here. And Magnus wins the queen for free because the king had to move. Magnus give and the rook, the queen is gone just like that. But Magnus did not play this, and instead Magnus captured. He lost the opportunity of winning a queen, and literally just captured. And the king captured back, and the game just gets just got boring because from here check 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 a lot of perpetual check. Now Magnus has another brilliant opportunity to capture another free piece yeah captures captures and magnus will try you know going for the checkmate they capture the bishop fine magnus say take on my piece i dash you i don't need the piece i'm gonna win the game of course magnus played the screen here check the king has to move down play the king here again check the queen the king went there and now magnus could we try have captured this rook at this moment this knight at this moment at this moment, Magnus could which have captured the knight, but no, Magnus did not capture the knight. He played something else. The move that ended the game. Magnus played something else. He played this, and instantly the stockfish went down, down. <sighs> because after a look here, there was no way Magnus could which have won that because the queen is literally gone. And then Magnus resigned. He resigned from the game. Just like that. Just because of one blunder scattered the whole game. And Magnus had no choice than to resign. So guys, the next game that's literally coming up is Magnus Revenge. Because Magnus literally revenged the same competition, the same open, <laughs> the same game, like the same tournament. Magnus Revenge. He played up the statue of again and try one that will be the next game i will try to be streaming i'll stream it in my next video so guys do well to subscribe and i'll see my next video bye